welcome back to my channel. We are doing a clown today. This is my take on just kind of a spooky, eerie, kind of creepy looking clown. I don't really do scary. It's not my thing. I get very easily scared. I'm a little baby, so this is about as scary as it's gonna get. I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. If you have missed any of them, make sure to check out my Halloween playlist. I will have it linked in the description box below. But go ahead and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and let's get on into the video. Hey guys, so I am actually starting off this look a little more ahead than usual. I have already applied my color corrected tinted moisturizer my foundation, my concealer, my eyebrows, and I've put on my Ardell Foam Ink Fake Lashes. So I'm just starting off by applying bronze dust for a contour and color to my face. Um, and I applied that to my cheekbones, my temple, and then a little bit on my nose. And then I decided to go ahead and go in and do the lips because I don't have a lot of color in this makeup look. So I wanted to go ahead and add that pop of color. I knew for this lip that I wanted something deep and dark and red, so I started off with the color Glam Doll, and it was actually a little more brown red than I wanted for this lip, but it turned out to be a really good first layer color um, to the base of what I was creating. So after it dried, I went in with two more layers of the color Mold Wine, which is a little more of a deep berry red, and this over top of Glam Doll. And then when I go in and add the onyx, just worked perfectly for the color that I was looking for. When I started creating this look, I knew I wanted it to be really black and bright face and then one random pop of color and have like a kind of just simple spooky look to it, if that makes any sense. If you've missed any of my previous Halloween looks that I've done over this past month, you can check out the link in the drop box below. Um, and I have all of them linked up there, but LipSense is honestly the most perfect product for Halloween. Actually, all of this makeup is because you're applying your makeup once and it's going to stay there. And I can remember years ago having to wait until the very last minute to apply a tiger makeup look that I did when Maddox was a baby because I knew if I did it too soon, he would smear off my face and I had to do it really late in the day while he was napping and I didn't get it done and he was up crying and it was such a chaotic mess and I was thinking, man. It would have been so nice to have had Senegin's products back then because I could have applied my makeup at 12 o'clock in the afternoon and gone trick-or-treating at 8 o'clock that night and it would have looked the exact same. So Senegin's makeup will always be worth every penny to me, especially when it comes to Halloween. It's just another time that I realized, wow, this is actually a great <laughs> product to have. So now I'm just going in with the shade Onyx Inner Shadow Sense. It's a pure black color. This is my most used product out of all of these Halloween tutorials. Literally, I've used it in every single one with this brush, which is just a dollar brush um, by e.l.f. You can pick up at Walmart, CVS, <laughs> Target, anywhere. It's the little angled brush that has the spoolie on the other end of it, and it works perfectly for creating precise lines on your makeup look. So I just use that to give myself kind of a creepy little mouth, and I'm topping it with matte gloss for everything to stay put. Shadow Sense, though, will not move off of your face, even on your lips, which is kind of crazy because this was my first time during these Halloween tutorials um, I had ever applied it to my mouth, and I was afraid to put my lips together because I thought it would smear, and it didn't, which is amazing. So I'm very impressed. So I added a cute little nose, except it's not supposed to be cute because I'm supposed to be spooky and creepy, so bear with me. <laughs> and now I'm just going in and applying the color Smoked Topaz Shimmer, which is a beautiful green-gray with a slight shimmer. I wanted to create a dramatic smoky eye for this look just to add to uh, the creepiness of it. I'm just buffing out that color really well with the Morphe M441 brush and then here I'm going in with the shade Onyx on my eyes to smoke it out. I didn't want to go directly to my eye with the wand. I wanted to touch my brush to the tip of the wand and then just kind of smoke it out on the corners and let the brush really hold the product and disperse the color all over my lid. So that's why I am choosing to do it this way. I wanted a less um, contoured look and more of a cohesive darker eye. 
So that is why I chose to go that route. And now I'm using an old Naked Palette brush and I'm using the very fine tip end to go in with silver shimmer on the inner corners of my eye for just a little random pop. Typically on my everyday look, I would wear snow on my inner corners. It's one of my favorites. It's just perfect um, to brighten the inner corner of your eye. But I wanted to do something fun, so I added the silver shimmer. And then I took the color sh snow that I was just talking about and I added a little tiny dot to my nose just to kind of give it more of a 3D look. And now I'm going in and doing the fun with the eyeliner and making it really deep and heavy on my lower lash line. I did not go in with any eyeliner on my top um, eyelid today because I'm doing such a different look with these upside down triangles. I'm going to be putting them both under my lash lines and then above my eyebrows. And I chose to go that route versus going over my eyelid and up to my forehead because... I was kind of nervous that if I started on my lid that it would the skin would be really hard to work with right there because it's so thin. But it ended up working out really well and I like the way that it turned out and I like the fact that the triangles were above my eyebrows in the end of this look because it just made my eyes look a little bit bigger and I still got to have a pretty kind of glam eye look for the night which was fun. Um, so I am just going in and doing the other side of my eye here. I honestly think the hardest part of creating this look was not being an insane perfectionist and worrying about both triangles on either side being exactly the same. But you'll see my eyes are like darting back and forth here trying to make sure that they're the same length and the same shape. I do recommend going ahead and starting with the tip of the triangle. Try to match that to the other side once you've already drawn it. And then that way you kind of have an, um, a length and an angle to go from so you have a better chance of having them actually match. But honestly, if you start creating this look and your triangles are mismatched, I would just make it a little bit more dramatic and make them extremely mismatched so it looks like it was done on purpose. And that would still actually be pretty creepy. So <laughs> if that happens to you, don't freak out. Just make them look even heavier unmatched and it will be fine <laughs> so now i'm just going in and doing those top triangles and i did go ahead and fill in my eyebrows a little bit with the shade onyx so i already have mocha java and smoke topaz in my brows right now which is what i wear on a daily basis but then i just decided to go ahead and put onyx throughout so it was one cohesive um, look and you didn't really notice my eyebrow as much and paid more attention to the triangle I forgot to mention that I did go into with the opposite side of this brush. You can see that there's a little round tip to it. My spoolie has fallen off and I've just never glued it back on, but I actually used the other side of it to just draw the little dots on the bottom tips of my tri triangles underneath my eyes. And I will do the exact same thing to the top as well. And that is all it took to create this kind of eerie, spooky clown costume. Definitely easy and definitely affordable to create from home. So I wish though I had tried the new mascara that Senegence just released before doing all of these makeup tutorials because then I would not have had to apply fake lashes every single time. <laughs> but that's okay, now I have it. I hope you've been enjoying these Halloween tutorials. Let me know what you think over on Instagram and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.